Hey, hey, hey family, it's your girl Evelyn here and I am back with another video. And in today's video, I kind of want to do an updated video of a video I did in 2019 called, um, I think it's called It's Time to Create Your Own Luxury. And I did it in 2019, you know, before I knew that black women in luxury was going to, you know, take off the way that it did, right? But that video is really kind of short, you know, it's like barely scratching the surface. But, you know, in one of my most recent videos where I talk about the truth about black women in luxury, I was talking about how, like, you know, um, one of the things that I think is missing from the conversation is being able to create luxury, not just consume luxury. And listen, I'm, I'm, I'm for both, right? But one of the things that I really want to talk about in this video is this idea of defining your own luxury. Because I, I think right now that a large portion of the conversation is, like I said, is around consumerism, that it's around like physical goods, it's around, you know, bags and shoes and cars and, and things like that. But I also, I kind of want to take it a, a, a layer deeper than that. So I think that's definitely a part of it, right? And I think that there, that's a, a good, I mean, you know, that's a, that's a, okay first step for a lot of people but i think you know for us over here on our on this channel in our community like you know we probably we, we may have already dipped our toe into those things you know previously we didn't we didn't wait on a movement um and not to say that that that's bad like i yeah i'm spicy so sometimes things don't come out the way the way that i want them to but um but we know that there's more to it than that, right? And so I kind of want to talk about like I want to I want to bring re bring up the conversation about creating your own luxury outside of just like goods, right? Um, because w when you look at the definition of luxury, okay, luxury by definition, I'm reading this off of um, I wrote this down, right? It's the state of great comfort, a condition of abundance or great ease, right? And so, you know, I think that the abundance part is definitely being able to, you know, um, treat ourselves to luxury goods, treat ourselves to luxury experience. But I really want to talk about the great comfort and ease part, because I think there's some things, um, you know, in all of our lives that could be a little more comfortable, you know, a little bit more at ease. But have we asked ourselves that question, like what would be luxury based on that definition um, in this area of my life? So, for example, one of the things that and this is this is such a such a minor example, but um, it has really been dare I say, dare I say life changing for me. Right. And that is the thought that, you know, I remember being subscribed to the notion of a, an, for being, you know, having natural hair and that wash day was like this labor intensive process that it was going to take hours upon hours. And, you know, it was a whole day and like, I used to dread it and like, Oh, that was just going to take forever. Right. And then I came across this Instagram account. And if I can remember the name of uh, the, the their handle, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen or I'll at least put their link in the description box, right? And it's when I had, I, I found them when I had asked myself a different question, like what would it look like if taking care of my hair was easy? Like why did I allow myself to believe that taking care of my hair had to be such a chore, right? Because you know, being someone who was on YouTube, you know, at at the at the beginning of the natural hair movement, at the boom of the natural hair movement, right? I definitely was a person who was like doing the absolute most and I think that's why one of the reasons why I stopped doing hair videos. And I just got to a point where I was like I kind of have my signature looks. Uh I kind of do the same thing and that's what it was, right? But I had allowed myself to believe that, you know, taking care of my natural hair while, you know, I was happy to be natural, that the process of, you know, cleansing my hair and styling my hair had to be lengthy and labor intensive, um, but that the rewards were worth it, though. Right. And so I remember just asking myself a different question, like, but, but what if I could still have the rewards and the joy of having natural hair? Um, but it was easier and I enjoyed the process, right? And so I decided to no longer be available for a wash day. 
Uh, and I was like, okay, what does that mean? Does that mean that I'm paying to get my hair done? Does that mean I'm doing a different style? Does that, wh like, what does that mean, right? And so I remember when I came across this Instagram account and they were talking about the wash hour. And it was so interesting. I, you know, I feel like if you ask a different question, you get a different answer. Come on, that up, preach somebody here. Listen, I heard that once at, at a business conference, they were like, sometimes you need to ask a different question to get a different answer. And so I just remember asking myself, like, what would it, what would it look like if I didn't hate washing my hair? Like not the actual process of washing my hair, just the amount of time and the detangling and all that kind of stuff. Right. And so I came across, uh, their concept of a wash hour. Right. And they had an ebook and I bought the ebook and like, it literally was like, oh, this is great. And literally, so I don't think I'm down to a wash hour. I think it takes me maybe an hour and a half, right? But it's not this four hour process that it used to be. And so while I'm using natural hair as an example, I really started thinking about that in other areas of my life. I was like, what would it look like for me to enjoy moving my body, for me to enjoy being healthy? for it to have, um, you know, some comfort, ease or, or enjoyment, I'm going to even say, right? I, I think enjoyment was the word. And I was like, it's not that I didn't move my body. There was just certain way, that, not that I didn't want to move my body, right? AKA exercise, but there was just certain things and methods that I didn't enjoy. So I asked myself a different question. I asked myself like, well, how do I enjoy moving my body. You know, I asked myself the question, even when it came to like how I wanted to nourish myself, like how do I enjoy nourishing myself? And if, even if you notice, I'm not using words like exercise and diet, right? Because I realized that I had developed such a, a, a negative connotation with those words that I even had to change my language. And so I kind of went through my life and basically said, like, how am I going to luxurize <laughs> if that if, if luxury was a verb, right? Like, how am I going to luxurize my life? And so it wasn't about having, you know, the most expensive thing, unless that's what I wanted. Right. But it was about how do, how do I enjoy this thing even more? Right. Like something as simple as washing your hair. Right. Like or taking a bath or a shower. Like how do I make this an enjoyable, pleasurable experience? Right. Like I realize I like working in my office, but I like having flowers here. Right. And so, you know, I, I was it was all about adding more joy and more pleasure to my life. And I went through even like even in my relationship with God. Oh, I could do a whole video about that, but I'm not. I'm, oh, I'm not. And I know somebody going to be like, oh, do it. But I'm not. But about how that relationship could be more enjoyable and pleasurable. And here's the thing. This is not even about that, that everything had to be a bad and unpleasurable thing. It's like, how could it be more enjoyable? How could it have more ease? Right. How could it be more um, um, uh bring me greater comfort. Right. And so, you know, even on my journey to curate my beauty, like I, I, I really enjoy makeup. I really enjoy the process. You know, I've said before that doing makeup is like cooking for me and that all of my different palettes and blushes and eyeshadows and things like that are like different ingredients. And I get to cook up a different look every single time and have a different flavor. Right. And so, I asked myself, how 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 did I how can I make that experience more enjoyable? That's when I bought a vanity, right? That's when I realized that, you know, I did want higher end products. So I wasn't just focused on the end result. I wanted to enjoy the pretty packaging. I wanted to enjoy special formulas. I wanted to enjoy the customer service process of buying from high end brands. So it wasn't like I'm just buying this because it's expensive, but it was something that I enjoyed and I wanted to make the experience even more pleasurable, right? So now when I do my makeup, I sit down in my vanity, you know, I put up, you know, one of my favorite YouTubers and I watch a video, right? And I give myself time. One of the things that I added to that is I actually gave myself more time, right? Um, I, you know, I watch a YouTuber. Her name is Emily Noel. I mean, I, you probably have heard of her, but I just got put onto her last year. Shout out to you, Patricia, for putting me on to Emily Noel. And she did a video where she was saying, like, if you're a makeup lover, then, you know, give yourself you know, 10 extra minutes with your makeup, 15 extra minutes, right? Have a pretty place, a beautiful place, a comfortable place, a designated place, if you can, to do your makeup. You know, sit down, make it a whole experience, right? And so now, you know, I do that. And so, but I've done that in multiple areas of my life. You know, curate 
my beauty, that process that I went through. And let me know if you want me to do a whole video about like what that was about, like what was Curate Your Beauty about. But, you know, it was like, how do I add enjoyment and pleasure and comfort and joy in multiple areas of my life? What do I need to upgrade, change, fix, let go of, incorporate, stop doing, start doing, right? Like even in my business, I don't like to check email, y'all. I just don't, for whatever reason, I don't like to check email. It's probably the same reason why I'm slow at responding to text messages. I just don't like to do it. I don't know why. And here's the thing, it needed to get done. So what did I do? I hired somebody who said, if you don't ever wanna check your email again, you don't have to. I will filter through the things that you need and I will handle the rest accordingly. And so that is a, a luxury to myself that I have given myself in business because I just don't want to, I don't enjoy it. And, there, and so the way to get that done and to make that pleasurable and give me ease and comfort, right, was to hire somebody to do it, right? And so when it comes to defining your own luxury, you know, I talked about it before that, yes, some people, it's bags, it's shoes, it's purses, it's vacations, and that's fine. That That's a form of luxury, but there also can be like, you know, uh, the luxury of time. Like I told you before, I have a friend who one of her luxuries was she wanted to create a life where she could run a business and homeschool her children. So she made some significant life changes to be able to do that, right? Because that was a luxury to her to be able to do that, right? You know, I had a business coach and she wanted to be able to date her husband in the middle of the day. She didn't want to have to wait till date night or till the weekends, right? So she you built, they built business, they built a lifestyle, they got the child care support that they needed, you know, you know, created the income they needed to be able to have that as a luxury, right? Listen, if you hate your job, get a different one. Do what you need to do to get a different one. I Listen, I'll, I'll never forget when I was working in corporate, that, you know, there's always a group of people who don't like their job, right? And I was in that crew, unfortunately. And I remember, you know, everybody talking about, oh, they couldn't stand this and they couldn't stand that or whatever. And I remember like actively making moves like, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna get this promotion because when I get this promotion, it's gonna put me in line for this. And when I get in line for that, that'll give me this kind of job. And that kind of job will allow me to go to culinary school. And then once I go to culinary school, you know, I'll be able to go out on my own or whatever, right? Because I was like, I me enjoying my work became a non-negotiable. I wanted to absolutely enjoy my work t t with as much as I could control, right? And so I was gonna do what I needed to do to, to get there. And what I found was that the people who complained along with me, most of them like stayed there for years afterwards. And I thought to myself, you know, there are things in life that we can't control, right? And, and, and those are the things that we have to accept. But the things that I can control, like that I can't influence, like, you know, if, if you don't like your job, then figure out how to like your work. Like, does that mean you need a different department? Does that mean you need to set some healthy boundaries? Does that mean, you know, you need to have certain conversations, right? Does that mean you need to work for a different company? Does that mean you need to be in a different field? Does that mean you need a different schedule, right? Do you need to apply to work somewhere else? You're not stuck. You can define your own luxury. And I think that's why I wanted to expand the conversation around luxury that it's not just about having a certain amount of money to buy certain things. That's absolutely a part of it. And I'm not diminishing that whatsoever. But I think also when you really look at the technical definition of luxury, I think what I really do want for black women is pleasure and ease that, you know, doing things the hard way uh, or, or the difficult way and grinning and bearing it or suffering through it or you know, just grinding it out, right? Like the, we don't we don't have to do that anymore. We are in a st stage in our history, in our culture, that there are so many options available to us that we can live a life of luxury, even if we're not just talking about money. That there that that, that we can have comfort, we can have ease, we can have joy and pleasure in multiple areas of our life, right? Not just in fashion, not just in jewelry, but we can have ease with our work. We can have ease and joy and pleasure in our relationships, right? We can have ease and joy and pleasure in our day-to-day -day life, right? And so um, 
Yeah, I, that, that's just kind of what I wanted to add to the conversation. Like, I know I've done a couple of videos on this. I don't know how many more I'll do on this. But, you know, like I said, there's been a couple of things that I just wanted to say. And I really wanted to do an updated video to that video. Because I think that previous video was only like five minutes. And I was just saying, like, oh, define your own luxury. But really, like, walk through your life and ask yourself, how can I add more joy? How can I add more pleasure? How can I add more comfort? How can I add more ease, right? Um, and it, it, you'll be surprised that there's so many little things. Like, let me tell you, when it comes to like keeping my house clean, right? Yes, like, okay, housekeepers, that's great. But, you know, but there was things like, like the day-to-day -day stuff. And I remember thinking like, man, trying to keep all my clothes organized is like a pain in the butt, right? And it was because I hadn't decluttered and I was like organizing things that I didn't wear, didn't use, didn't want. And right. And so I took it upon myself and I was like, I want to declutter because I want ease and I want to enjoy the clothes that I have. And I don't want to feel like, oh, it's such a chore to do this or do that. Right. Like that was a little luxury. I can't, decluttering became uh, a joy for me. It became an e a way of incorporating more ease into my life. And so... You know, and then I was like, that way I can spend more on fewer items that I really, really love and really, really enjoy. Um, and it became less about, okay, I just want more expensive clothes because they're luxury, which I enjoy those things. But it also became about like, you know, uh, the ease of it, the comfort of it, the pleasure of it, right? And so, you know, really ask yourself in your day-to-day -day maintenance, in your day-to-day -day chores, in your day-to-day -day life, in your relationships, what would bring you more joy? What would bring you more pleasure? What would bring you more ease, more comfort? And what do you need to do to do that? And then I think, you know, you will really have a fully well-rounded luxury experience in your own life that only you can define, right? And I, I you know, I, you know, if you have a spouse or partner, like, you know, do this exercise together because sometimes we are tolerating things that like, we just haven't thought that it could be easier. It's like me with my hair. Like, I just was like, this could be so much easier. And it is now, right? Um, that may not be your issue, but it could be something else. So this is my, you know, updated version on creating your own luxury. Um, you know, what things have you done to create more joy and more pleasure in your life, you know, outside of just like, okay, I'm going to, you know, buy a luxury handbag or this. And again, I am not diminishing that. I love those things. Y'all know I love luxury beauty. I do. I listen. I will buy me a Pat McGrath pal a palette so fast and make your head spin. Okay. I will buy me Natasha Denona, Tom Ford. Like I listen, I love luxury beauty, right? So I am so not anti people who want to buy luxury goods. Again, this is about like expanding the conversation around that and going where else um, can, can you have pleasure and joy and ease? Right. And, uh, let me know in the comments below. And what else would you like to talk about under this subject of black women in luxury? And, uh, that's it y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next one. Peace.